hello everyone and welcome back again into my another video hope you're all doing well and hope you are practicing for your subject mathematics 18931 if you are having the backlog okay so in this video i will be discussing the super important question from the module 4th that is use taylor series method to find the value of y at x is equal to 0.1 so i will tell you later on what is this x given that dy by dx is equal to x square y minus 1 and y of 0 is equal to 1 this is called as initial condition okay we have the taylor series standard uh, equation for taylor series y of x is equal to y of x naught plus x minus x naught raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial y dash of x naught plus x minus x naught whole square divided by 2 factorial y double dash of x naught plus x minus x naught divided by 3 factorial and cube y triple dash of x naught right so what we have to calculate in this first of all we have to find out y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught y triple dash of x naught later on we can put down those values in this particular standard equation we will get the value accordingly so in the solution i can write down first of all what is given dy by dx it is nothing but y dash it is also called as y dash dy by dx we can also represent it as y dash is equal to x square y minus 1 so it is given okay so if i have to find out this y dash of x naught i can simply put instead of x x naught instead of y i can put y naught so y dash of i can write down y dash of x naught is equal to instead of x i can write down x naught whole square y instead of y i can write down y naught minus 1 in order to find out this y dash of x naught so what is the initial condition it is y of 0 is equal to 1 this 0 is nothing but x naught so x naught is equal to 0 and this is called as y naught so y naught is equal to 1 this is called as initial condition so x naught is given 0 and this is y naught is equal to 1 now y dash of x naught which is equal to x naught you just put out the values now x naught value is 0 so 0 whole square into this y naught value is 1 minus 1 so y dash of x naught which is equal to 0 into 1 is 0 minus 1 so we are getting y dash of x naught as minus 1 okay so what we have to find y double dash of x naught okay this means we have to double uh, differentiate this term y dash is equal to x square y minus 1 this is the equation we have to double differentiate it so y double dash of x i can write down which is equal to this is uv rule u into v so i will take x square as it is differentiation of y is nothing but y dash right plus then y as it is differentiation of 2x is sorry differentiation of x square is 2x so i can write down 2x okay minus 1 differentiation of 1 is 0 so no need to write 0 over here so y double dash of instead of x i have to take x naught just we need to uh, take out the y dash of x naught term so y double dash of x naught is equal to instead of x again take x naught square y dash of x naught plus 2 into y naught and this is x naught so y, du y double dash of x naught is equal to what is the x naught value it is given initial condition 0 so 0 multiplied by y dash of x naught is nothing but 1 0 into 1 plus 2 into y naught value is 1 x dash sorry x naught value is 0 initial condition so y double dash of x naught is equal to 0 into 1 is 0 plus 2 into 0 is 0 so we are getting y double dash of x naught as 0 now what we need to calculate y triple dash of x naught this is our second equation i will just call these equations first so this is our first equation this is our second equation so now we have to do triple differentiation so we will get y triple dash of x this is y triple dash of x is equal to this is again uv rule u into v x square as it is differentiation of y dash is y double dash plus y dash as it is differentiation of x square is 2x so i can write down like this 2x plus again we have a uv rule so 2 i will take out first then yx is the uv rule so i will take y as it is differentiation of x is 1 okay then y, x it is x it is and differentiation of y is y dash hope you are getting my points so y triple dash of instead of x i have to take x naught is equal to x naught square y double dash of x naught plus 2 y dash of x naught and x naught over here then plus 2 into this is y naught into 1 is y naught plus x naught into y dash of x naught okay now let me calculate this much 
so y triple dash of x naught is equal to just put down the values x naught is given initial condition 0 0 multiplied by y double dash of x naught what is the y double dash of x naught value it is 0 already here so 0 into 0 plus 2 times y dash of x naught it is nothing but 1 it is given in the problem so 2 into 1 and here we have x naught x naught value is 0 again then plus 2 multiplied by y naught value is 1 in the problem you can see also here y naught value is 1 so 1 plus x naught value is 0 0 multiplied by y dash of x naught is 1 so it will become 0 so 0 into 0 is 0 2 into 1 into 0 is 0 this is 2 into 1 is 2 so we are getting y double dash sorry y triple dash of x naught is equal to 2 over here okay so already we are done with the problem now uh, we are uh, getting the values y dash of x naught y double dash of x naught y triple dash of x naught now it is the time to put down these values in this standard equation so i will write down here see here y of x is equal to y of x naught it is y of x naught is given 1 so 1 plus x minus x naught what is the x naught value it is already 0 so I can write down x raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial so x raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial means 1 into 1 so y dash of x naught multiplied by y dash of x naught y dash of x naught we have calculated here y dash of x naught so it is already minus 1 so multiplied by minus 1 plus x minus x naught x naught is again 0 so x square divided by 2 factorial i can write down x square divided by 2 factorial means 2 into 1 into y double dash of x naught what is the y double dash of x naught value 0 so multiplied by 0 plus x minus x naught whole cube i can write down x cube divided by 3 factorial means 3 into 2 multiplied by y triple dash of x naught y triple dash of x naught is nothing but 2 so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out now in the problem itself it is given x is equal to 0 0.1 so you have to put down this x value as 0 0.1 is equal to 1 plus x value is 0 0.1 raised power 1 divided by 1 into minus 1 plus x value is 0 0.1 whole square divided by 2 uh, into 0 plus x cube divided by 3 now once you just calculate this much in Kelsey, I will show you how to calculate this. So first of all 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 1 into minus 1. So 0.1 into minus 1, right? Then plus this much is 0, 0 0.1 whole square into 0 is 0. So no need to write this term. Plus x cube, x cube means sorry 0 0.1 whole cube, 0 0.1 whole cube divided by 3, 0 0.1 cube. 0.1 cube divided by 3 which is equal to 0 0.9003 is the answer so y of 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.9 sorry 9003 this is the correct answer for the particular question by using Taylor series method hope you have understood this concept very well make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates who are having backlogs in the mathematics subject thank you